In this video, I'm going to show you several styles or designs of bait traps that you can use to catch live fish for bait. The first trap I want to show you is called a four-way or sometimes a cloverleaf bait trap. And that's this guy right here. This trap is made out of half-inch by half-inch hardware cloth. It's approximately two feet by two feet uh, on the sides. It's about 11 inches tall. And you're looking at it from a top view. And what you'll notice is it's got four V-shaped funnels, one on each of the square sides. And if you can see the end here, or the edge, in this funnel there is a two inch tall by one inch wide opening that is centered from top to bottom, halfway between the top and bottom of the trap at the back of the V. So the nice thing about this trap is there are four funnels, one on each side, so you can get a lot of fish into your trap. The bait area is this area in the center. It's about three inches by three inches and it extends from top to bottom. There's a little access door where you can open it. You can dump some dry dog food, uh, tuna cat food uh, from a can. Uh, take slices of bread, wad them up in a ball, and stick them in there. Uh, just about anything works for bait. You'd be amazed at uh, what you can track fish with. Uh, this kind of trap, you sometimes find for sale uh, in places like a dedicated sports shop. They're a little harder to find than one of the others I'm going to show you. But um, if you find it for sale commercially, you may find these uh, with a black vinyl coating. More often than not, you see people build these themselves. You can buy the hardware cloth from a hardware store or a farmer co-op. I put this one together with some little J-clips. They're uh, used sometimes for building rabbit hutches. You can buy those at a farmer co-op store as well. Uh, it doesn't take long to build, and you can probably build it way cheaper for yourself than you can buy one, uh, even if you can find them. This is a very effective trap. This is a real workhorse bait trap. This is what I use when I'm out catching my own bait, typically. Put a couple of these out and you're probably going to catch a lot of bait fish, probably as much as you need. Uh, the only disadvantage to these is they don't fold up or stow very compactly. It takes up the space you see here and you start packing a couple of these up every time you go somewhere fishing or camping for a weekend and they do take up a lot of space and that's the only downside. But they're a great trap, they're a real workhorse, they're very, very effective. The second trap I want to show you, I call it bucket trap. You can buy these in places like a Walmart or most any bait shop, and obviously it kind of looks like a bucket. There are actually two pieces that come with the trap. They nest inside each other and are sold together like so. These traps have some little fingers on one side, and the way this trap works, the little fingers kind of interlock, and the trap hinges together, folds shut, and then you have a little spring clamp that will flip the trap together on the opposite side and hold it together. And you can anchor this with a piece of nylon cord, bait it, toss it out in the water. And the nice thing about this is it's got actually a couple of advantages over your big four-way. One, obviously, is the storage because it nests together. You can have five or six of these traps stacked in one big stack nesting inside each other, and they don't take up a whole lot of room. The other advantage is because you have a round funnel opening, this trap, if you toss it out and it's, let's say it's sitting on an inclined steep bank under the water, there's no exact upright position for your funnel to be upright or tilted because it's a round hole. It doesn't matter exactly what orientation the trap's on, so it can kind of rest on the incline and it's still just as effective. This four-way trap is going to work a lot better sitting on a flat surface or a relatively flat bottom. The last trap I want to show you is a simple plastic jug trap. This trap is constructed out of a one-gallon juice bottle, and you can find tons of videos on YouTube on how to build these from everything from a two-liter Coke bottle to jugs like this or almost any kind of plastic container. Uh, this one, I simply took two jugs like so. I chopped the bottom off one jug and chopped the top off the second. <coughs> the second, uh, or top piece of the second jug was stuck inside the cut off bottom end of the other jug and then I just put a bead of hot glue around the edge to hold it in place. So the top of the second jug forms a nice funnel and if I catch some bait fish in here unscrew the lid, shake my bait out into the bucket, and I'm done. Um, like I say, lots of videos on how to build these. I'm not going to go in or elaborate. Obviously, cheap. You can make one of these for next to nothing. So how do I set a bait trap? I typically use something like a tent stake, or you can use a little stob or stick or tie it to a tree limb. But I'll take a piece of nylon cord, maybe a black um, hard nylon. It doesn't show up very well, so it's kind of stealthy. Other people don't notice it 
and I'll cut about a 25 foot piece of line. I typically anchor a tent stake right at the water line along the bank, maybe just a few inches under the water line, but place it where I can find it, but it won't be real obvious. Run that line from the tent stake out to my trap and then drop my trap in the water. Um, I like to find a shallow spot where I can get the trap maybe in two or three foot of water, but still get it maybe 10, 15 foot out away from the bank or more so that people don't mess with it and it tends to get left alone and undisturbed more that way. Uh, once you get your trap to where you're going to position it before you sink it, you fill it with bait. I use dry dog food, uh, tuna cat food from a can. You take slices of bread, roll them up or wad them up into balls and put them in your trap. You can use just about anything for bait. A dry dog food is probably the cheapest thing you can use. It works great. You know, I've got a dog, so I've always got dog food around the house, so it doesn't really cost me anything. Um, think about places, though, where you might put your trap. Um, you know, you walk around the edge of any lake, you're going to see small minnows and big fish. It's going to be small brim and so forth, just about anywhere. But if you can find a cove, maybe away from the boat ramp where there's not as many people, kind of a little secluded area, uh, you can find a creek that runs into a lake. The mouth of the creek where it enters the lake is a great spot for a bait trap. Uh, find some lily pads, uh, maybe a bed of uh, cattails, it's a good place. Uh, anything that provides some underwater structure areas like boat ramps and boat docks, although you got to be careful in those areas. There's a lot of people around there, and traps can get noticed and bothered or even stolen. Um, I know a lot of people that will take one of these four ways and sink it below their boat and just drop it down in the, in the boat stall at a marina and keep it baited. And when they get ready to go out, they get ready to get in their boat and pull the trap up, load up their bait into a bucket, and they're off. Uh, I like lily pads. You can sink one of these things in a shallow two, three foot of water with some lily pads, and the lily pads will shade your trap, and in the hot summertime, it'll help keep your bait alive, and that little bit of shade will make a big difference in super hot weather. But literally, uh, you can bait them with anything. They work great. Save yourself a whole lot of money if you fish and fly bait using these bait traps. And you can catch bigger bait than you're typically going to find at most bait shops.